இன்று யாழ்ப்பாணத்தில் நடக்கின்றது நாளை மன்னா We go fishing to protect our sea. The government is acting in a way that they have entrusted the people with the task of ensuring security. There is a question whether the government that expects the support of the people would protect our livelihoods. The illegal entry of Indian fishermen into Sri Lankan waters is angering local fishermen and now forcing them onto the streets. Indian fishermen have been fishing in the sea of Sri Lanka for years with high engine power trawlers that scoop up everything on the ocean bed. These fishermen who have been demanding for a solution are now staging continuous protests opposing the long standing delays in resolving the matter. Some fishermen say this is a matter that has reached the depths of national security and not just an issue of encroachment by foreign fishermen. The National Fisheries Federation is one such movement that staged a protest in Manna today. India will hear in the but fishermen from India use items like petrol bombs and fish in our waters fearlessly. Recently the government obtained a loan from India. We feel that they have given our marine resources to them in return for their loan. Amidst the continuing protests, Fisheries Minister Douglas Devananda believes that he has found a solution during a meeting with the National Fisheries Federation. On the port of Dil Fisheries associations in the Jaffna district are continuing to stage protest. We have found a feasible solution to this. They believe that it is difficult to find a solution to this issue due to the protests of fishermen who are provoked by Tamil political parties. They have resumed fishing now by calling off the protest after trusting my word. And the poor art of the Kaivut, our whole Toli Lakisan to put down. Makali Lamal. There is no point in national security without people therefore the government should protect the people indian fishermen are using trawlers and fishing in a way that is threatening the presence of the locals in those areas they are continuously causing damages to the equipment of local fishermen enbadu idile thalivaga engalukku theriyirathu on multiple occasions news first highlighted how indian fishermen carry out fishing in the sea of sri lanka using their trawlers often colliding with local boats The recent tragedy was the death of two fishermen who died in a collision with an Indian fishing trawler. Their bodies were recovered on the 31st of last month while the Indian fishermen who were arrested over the collision have been remanded until the 21st of this month. Fisheries associations say that Indian fishermen destroy equipment of local fishermen worth nearly 900 billion rupees every year. Sunil Handunethi, a former MP of the Janata Vimukti Perumana, has blamed the government's silence over this issue. The fishermen in the north are protesting. Fishermen from India forcibly enter our waters and interfere with our fishing industry, but the government is silent. The government has not even requested to stop this. If the foreign minister is going overseas, it means they will have to sell the remaining assets. It may be to sell the assets of fishermen as well. They are doing anything they can to obtain dollars. The government is silent over this issue. Foreign Minister G L Pires is to leave for India tomorrow while the issues between India and Sri Lankan fishermen are continuing to worsen. Sri Lanka is expecting a loan of more than 1 billion US dollars from India as the country continues to grapple with a shortage of dollars. Matters relating to bilateral friendship and strengthening cooperation are expected to be discussed during the foreign minister's visit. Sri Lanka's decision to bar Indian fishermen from a festival at St Anthony's Church in Kachatheevu Islands has also sparked concerns among Indian officials. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M K Stalin has written to Indian External Affairs Minister Dr S Jay Shankar seeking to intervene and reverse this decision.